All right, so what's going on? We got 2.9 Yadani. This one is same as 2.8, same rules, right? We got to find the local element forces, the displacements of the nodes, and the reactions using the direct stiffness method. Um, this one is a little longer because we have three springs now, but just stick to the routine and you'll be fine. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this problem is a little crazier because we got uh, three springs this time. So it's gonna be a four by four matrix. We got four nodes. Um, to save space, I'm gonna go ahead and just start by doing the force matrix. So let's do F1X, F2X, F3X, F4X, and I'm assuming you watched the other videos, so if you need help doing this, just go ahead and watch the other ones. But I'm going to go ahead and skip straight to the global stiffness matrix. So it's between nodes 1 and 2, so it's going to be the first row and the second row in the first column and second column. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be 5,000, negative 5,000. We got negative 5,000 and 5,000 right second one it's another 5,000 but between two and three so at row two it's actually going to be another 5,000 on top of this one so this is going to be 10,000 then negative 5,000 negative 5,000 and 5,000 and then between three and four it's going to be another one so five on top of this one right so it's going to be 10,000, negative 5,000, negative 5,000, and 5,000. So this is the global stiffness matrix right here. Oh, went a little overboard. There we go. Okay, um, fill in the zeros where you didn't have anything. Zero, zero, and zero. And again, this is notes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then displacements. So we got U1, U2, yeah, U2, U3, U4. Okay, so let's go into the boundary conditions. One is not going to move at all. So this displacement, no matter how much force you put at any node, two or three or four, this will always be zero. Node two is going to move. Um, node three is gonna move and node four is gonna move. So we know all the force values. This is a thousand pounds at two. This is zero pounds at three and then 4,000 at four. And then we're looking for F1. So all these we know. So this is negative a thousand, right? This is zero. This is 4,000, and that's about it. Again, if you know the force, you, you're supposed to be looking for the displacement, and if you know the displacement, you're supposed to be looking for the force on the other side. So that's the trick, that you're on the right path. So let's go ahead and do step two. Um, let's start assembling the equation. So we got F1x is equal to 5,000 times zero at zero. Minus 5,000 U2, 0, 0. So that means the next one, negative 1,000 is equal to negative 5,000 times 0 plus 10,000 U2. Minus 5,000 U3 plus 0. Next one, 0 is equal to 0 times 0 minus 5,000 times U2. Uh, plus 10,000 times U3 minus 5,000 times U4. All right, cool. And the last one, 4,000 is equal to 0, 0, minus 5,000 U3. And then plus 5,000 U4. All right, so we got four equations 
foreign knowns. So we can't use, we can never start with the, for, uh, with the equation where we don't know force. So it's usually just focus on these three. Three equations, three unknowns. U2, U3, and U4. So check it out. I want to stay away from this one for now because it has the most variables. U2, U3, and U4. We don't know any. Makes no sense why we should tackle that one. So look, what we could do is we could solve for U2 using this one. That will give us something in terms of U3, right? And then do the same thing here. Solve for U4 and something in terms of U3. Then once you get that U2, you plug it in here. Then once you get that U4 from this equation, you plug it in here and then you could solve for U3 because everything will be in terms of U3. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, equation one, I mean two, I'm sorry. This is one, two, three, four. So equation two. Um, move 5,000 U3 over here. So we're going to have, it's going to have 10,000 U2, don't get lost, is equal to 5,000 U3 minus 1,000. Yes, minus 1,000. All right, cool. So that means solving for U2, you will get U2 is equal to 0 0.5 U3 minus 0 0.1 see that right just divided everything by 10,000 so cool we got this and again this um I kind of already knew what to do just after seeing this so much but it's pretty much just messing with the equations you rarely mess with the ones you don't uh know in terms of force try to stick with the displacements only because that's what you got to find first worry about the forces later so that's equation two so now let's step four let's go to equation four and solve for U4 to get something in terms of U3. So just like what we did here. So we're gonna have 4,000 is equal to negative, we're solving for U4. So if we move 5,000 over here, we're gonna have, sorry, let me erase this. It's 4,000 plus 5,000 U3 is equal to, 5,000 U4. Solving for U4, it's going to give, let's put this one first, so it's going to be U3, right? 5,000 canceled out, plus 0 0.8. Awesome, awesome, this is looking good. All right, next step, um, it's to plug in U2 into here. That's going to have it in terms of U3. And then same thing for U4. Plug it into here. And we could solve for U3. Because that's going to eliminate every other variable. So it's going to be equation 3. Plug in U2, U4. Okay. So we do that. Let's see what we get. 0 is equal to negative 5,000 times 0 0.5 U3 minus 0 0.1, right? I just plugged in U2 plus 10,000 U3. Um, minus 5,000 times U4, which is U3 times U3 plus 0 0.8. Cool. Let's simplify this. You will get negative 2,500 U3 plus, right, negative, negative, plus 500 plus 10,000 U3 minus 4,000, right, um, if you multiply negative 5,000 to 0.8, it's negative 4,000 minus 5,000 U3. Let's go ahead and combine like terms. Zero is equal to, mm, okay, so 10,000 minus 5,000, that's 2,500. 
No, that's 5,000. I'm sorry. 10,000 minus 5,000 is 5,000. Minus 2,500. That's a positive 2,500. U3. Then 500 minus 4,000 is negative 3,500. So that's that. If you solve for U3, move 3,500 this way. U3 will be 1.4 inches. Damn, it's hot. What day is it, like June 1st or something? Damn, it's hot. But we got U3, so we're good. Now that we have U3, we could just plug into these right here. And you can find U2 or you can find U4. So cool. Um, let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it over here. Save some space because we're going to need space for the local element forces. And there's three of them. So step six, plug in U3 into these two right here. So U2 will be 0 0.5 times 1.4, which is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.1. That means U2 is 0 0.6 inches. It's the other answer. U4 will be 1.4 plus 0 0.8. That is 2.2 inches. 2.2 inches. This is looking real, real good. All right. Step seven. God damn. Now that we found all the U's, now we find the forces. In this case, thank God it's just one. And thank God you just plug in U2 here. So F1X is equal to negative 5,000 times U2, which is 0 0.6 inches. And that is going to give you F1X is equal to negative 3,000 pounds going this way. Again, the arrow. I mentioned it a lot, just remember. So it makes sense, right? We got 4,000 going this way to the right. A thousand going to the left that means we didn't we need an extra three thousand going to the left to keep it in equilibrium that means we get it right and again the negative cancels out with this arrow so that means f1 x is equal to three thousand pounds going this way ba -ba -bam. celtics and the warriors play today game one we're a celtic family so hope we win but step eight, okay? Let's keep it going. Um, now we know everything, we can find the local element forces. So let's go ahead and do the first element. Um, in this case, the matrix is the same for all of them. K1 equals K2 equals K3. And that equals 5,000, negative 5,000, negative 5,000, 5,000. And I skipped the step just to save room, but that's what it is, right? 5,000, negative 5,000, negative 5,000, 5,000, then 5,000, negative 5,000, negative 5,000, 5,000, then 5,000, negative 5,000, negative 5,000, 5,000. So cool. Uh, F1x, F2x of the first element is 5,000, negative 5,000, negative 5,000. 5,000, 5,000, and that is U1, U2. U1 is zero, doesn't move. U2 is 0 0.6. Do some math, you will get 5,000 times zero. Okay, for F1X is equal to 5,000 times zero, which is zero, minus 5,000 times 0 0.6. It's negative 3,000. So again, negative 3,000 going this way or 3,000 pounds going this way. And that's for element one. The second force for element one is negative 5,000 times zero plus 5,000 times 0 0.6. That is 3,000 pounds positive. So that means it's going this way. So those are the for element one, we gotta repeat this two more times for the other two elements, right? Um, so we got 
f2x, f3x is equal to, same thing, because the value for k is the same. So it's negative 5,000 and 5,000. Okay, and that is from u2 and u3. That is u2, 0 0.6, and then u3, 1.4. So 1.4. Let's do some more matrix algebra that is of element 2. So it's 5,000 times 0. 0.6, that's 3,000. Minus 5,000 times 1.4 off the top of my head. So 5,000 times 1 is 5,000. 0.4 times 5,000 is 2,000. Yes, so that is negative 7,000. So 3,000 minus 7,000 is negative 4,000 going to the right, or it's positive 4,000 pounds going to the left. Again, 5,000 times 0. 0.6 minus 5,000 times 1.4 should give you positive 4,000 going this way, or it's going to give you a negative going the opposite way. F3x of element 2 it's going to be the same number, right? It's just 5,000 times 0. 0.6. But it's negative 3,000 plus 7,000. That means it's 4,000 pounds going this way. So that's the answer for the second element. And finally, the last one. F3x, F4x is equal to the matrix, which is... Again, same value for k, so it's 5,000, negative 5,000, negative 5,000, and 5,000. And it's from u3 to u4. So u3 is 1.4, u4 is 2.2. 1.4, 2.2, 2.2, cool. F3x of the third element is 5,000 times 1.4 is 7,000. Negative 5,000 times 2.2 2 is 10,000 plus 1,000, negative 11,000. So 7 minus 11 is negative 4,000 again, but it's positive 4,000 pounds going this way. I'm assuming you should know how to do this by now, which is why I'm not babying you anymore. But F4X times 4 is equal to, you know what, I'll baby you on this one, just in case you couldn't see these, it's going to be 5,000, oh, negative 5,000, right, this row, so it's, let me put a negative right here, negative 5,000 times 1.4 plus 5,000 times 2.2, okay? And then if you do the math, you're going to get negative 7,000 plus 11,000. Then F4x of element 4 is equal to 4,000 pounds going this way because it's positive. So it's this one and this one. All right, cool, that makes sense. Our F4X is equal to the 4,000 applied here. Um, this 4,000 pounds of F3X, there's no force here, but this F3X cancels with this F3X. So you see these two? 4,000 going this way and then 4,000 going this way, they canceled out. 4,000 here for F2X cancel, doesn't cancel out. There's 3,000 going to the right, as we see here, right, on my pencil. Then there's 4,000 going to the left, meaning there's a total of 1,000 going to the left. And then F1X, there's only one element, right? There's no more F1Xs. There's only one. It's 3,000 going this way. Everything works out. Looks good. There's the answers. Um, hope it made sense. I went a little fast here, but I'm assuming you watched some of the other videos. So this isn't all new, but let's hope the Celtics win. Game one. Let's go.